Hey, this is Matt from Investaquant. Today is Thursday, May 12, 2022. Yesterday was another weekday in the markets. The markets continue to push lower. We closed at a 52-week low on the close yesterday, and the overnight session has continued lower. What we're going to do this morning is look at that pattern. What has happened historically when gapping down following a 52-week low? So I've selected all four instruments. The setup's going to be based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. First thing I want to do here is go to the opening filters, click on gap down to add that piece of information. And then I'm going to go to the price patterns library. And on the active today, down near the bottom, I'm going to go to the new lows section. I'm going to find day after 52 week low close. Here it is. I'm going to click on that. That will add it to the test. Now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when the prior session closes at the lowest closing price of the past year. It is followed by an open that is below the prior closing price. Historically, we've got 23 samples in the S&P dating back to 2003. For the NASDAQ, it is 17. For the Dow, 20. And for the Russell, 31. Win rates on these are just slightly skewed towards the downside. S&P, uh, the weakest of the group, at 43% of these have closed above the opening print for that session. For the NASDAQ, 47%. Dow 45%, Russell 52%. So uh, win rates just a touch light here. If we look at the average moves, you'll see the average loss is larger than the average win here in the S&P. That's also the case in the NASDAQ, in the Dow, and in the Russell. So all four of these have average losses that are a little bit larger than the average wins. The win rates are just slightly skewed towards the downside. So not the strongest of uh bear patterns that we've seen but it is just slightly skewed with bigger losses on the um on this pattern compared to the wins and win rates coming in a little under 50 percent hopefully you found that helpful good luck today we will see you next time